Okay, so now I must say, Omarji is not just another desktop. Okay, I must say, all of these desktops are amazing. People have actually created a proper physical desktop setup for it. Till now, on Linux, you all just messed up with the virtual screen and the virtual desktop setup. But what about the actual physical desktop, your whole computer setup? Well, people are actually doing it. Omarji is damn popular with everything. And this feels very similar to the days when Linux rising went viral and people were actually, you know, spending countless hours customizing their desktops, those high plan setups, XFC setups, GNOME desktops. It feels similar, but Omarji is this time different. It isn't just offers a platform to dice. It ships with experience out of the box. So, Omarji 3.2 was a hit with a sweet spot for developers, enthusiasts, and even gamers. For developers, it was a ready-to-go platform. It was stable, very minimal setup time, and with everything you need accessible right from the start. And for enthusiasts like me, it's a playground. We have theming, customization, hotkeys, workflows, different setups, all carefully designed so that I don't have to do anything and I don't have to spend weeks configuring. Just like I did, you know, I did with my own desktop. It was really a mess. It took almost a whole month to properly create my setup. But Omarji is just a few hours of time if you actually configure it, but you can just use it right from the start. And for gamers, it provides a very smooth and performance focused system with dedicated support for GPU accelerated games and drivers out of the box. What's striking is how convenient it all feels. Omarji is not just about forcing you to tinker endlessly. It gives you all the tools right away from the start the polished and aesthetic desktop right from the installation. That's why people are just calling one of the most complete experience of Linux right now. And to be honest, it's pretty nice. Like why is this happening if you ask me? Because Omarji gives people an experience that feels polished and modern but most importantly effortless. You have multiple themes built in right from the start with beautiful blurs, app sync with Brave and VS Code, high plan aesthetics out of the box, and then power user features like that as well. For example, you have hotkeys for literally everything. Whether you want to turn on and off your transparency or open the app focused launcher, private browser shortcuts. And the best part, which I feel, and a lot of people are feeling that as well, is the convenience. Now, all you need to do is just install the ISO. And the setup process is way, way better. It has better Mac support as well this time and developer tools are just one click away. You don't need to build everything from scratch. It's already ready. All you need is to install the system. And this feels like a new era for Linux enthusiasm. Omarji's rise shows something important that Linux enthusiast is still alive. But it's evolving to be honest. Instead of just endlessly tinkering, people now want a beautiful working system out of the box and that is why Archcraft or CatchUS or Omachi and even the high desktop, all of them are actually going sort of viral in the Linux community. Well, in order to conclude, I'd say that people are proud to use it not just to showcase it but to actually feel that yes, it is a complete package. They don't have to worry about anything. Omarji is not just a normal distro update this time. It's becoming a cultural phenomenon in, in our Linux world. For developers to gamers, from enthusiasts to maybe professionals, it's inspiring people to create setups that reflects not just how they work but how they live. This isn't just, you know, the previous trend like the Linux rising. This is a proper operating system delivering the same beauty and convenience without the chaos of endless, countless hours wasted on customization. Omarji has finally set a new standard. This is the bar you have to catch if you want to actually create an awesome distribution. And it's only the beginning. I'm wondering what would be in the next update of Omarji 4.0. Well, let me know in the comments what would you like if you could suggest the developer, DHH, what you want in the next update. If you ask me, then I'd say maybe a floating top bar maybe like maybe maybe or just a small option which allows us to select between the full installation and the bare minimum one like you know giving us the ability to actually install the whole distro or for minimalists like me just a minimal setup and with that being said i hope you've enjoyed the video let me know in the comments if you like the video or not or the suggestions for the next video and i'll be in the next video till then i'm moon signing off